Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my March update to the Enjoy Your Eyeshadows project. This was created by Deb, and I will have all of that information linked down below in the description box. For this, there are no rules. You can use any eyeshadows you want as many times as you want. You don't have to use it, no Pam left behind. However works for you. The way I'm doing this challenge is I have rolled several eyeshadows into other projects to use some of them, no Pam left behind. Some of them just have a number usage goal, etc. And so I'm just bringing in all the eyeshadows that I have used over the month of February and talking about them. Deb has asked that we pick up Peak, which is our favorite eyeshadow, and a Pit, which is our least favorite, and I will be getting to that at the end of the video. So I have used some eyeshadows over the past couple months. I'm only talking about the ones that were unique to February. If I've already discussed it in a previous update, then I won't be bringing those palettes back into this one again. So I will put my playlist down below so you can go back and see everything that I used in January. I had 10 palettes that I used, and I have seven palettes to go over for this month. So in no particular order, let me just start with this one right here. This is my Odin's Eye Merry Christmas palette. I had this one in a project for a three-use goal. I did not have to use it, no pan left behind. And this is what it is looking like. I reached into these greens up here. I also reached into this black, this burgundy, and some of these shades over here. This is the amazing Odin's Eye formula. I really like this one, the first one called Elf Wish. I swatched this one in a previous video, but that's okay, I will swatch it again. It is a multi-chrome, it is absolutely stunning. I'm hoping you can see all the different shifts and stuff in there. This is the one that I typically will do on my hands so that you can see the greens, the oranges, the yellows. It is stunning. Of course, this palette is discontinued, unfortunately, so you can't get it, but I just wanna give you a few swatches. This one right here is called New Year. Beautiful shimmery, true green color right there. What are some other beautiful shimmers in here? This one is called Snowman. I don't believe I used this one at all when I was doing the challenge or when it was in the other project. So this is it right here. Again, shifts multiple colors. It is beautiful. So I really liked this palette a lot. Even this black shade right here, very, very pigmented, very easy to work with. I was able to blend it in with the other colors that were in the eyeshadow look. So that one wasn't an issue at all. See, I wanna keep swatching. Here's Little Star. How pretty is that? Kind of an orangey pink. As you can tell, shimmers are my favorite, so I did really enjoy this eyeshadow palette. The next palette I have is from ColourPop. This one is the Wait and See Pressed Powder Palette. It is a little tiny quad. As you can see, it is smaller than the palm of my hands. I love how tiny this one is, and this I'm able to use and make a complete look with this. It has a very light matte, a very dark, and then two beautiful shimmers. I will quickly swatch those out, not quite sure of the names of all these. I don't know if they're on the back or not, but I will just swatch them. So here they are right here. I put the two mattes at the top and the two shimmers right here. As you can see this one is a little bit more turquoise. This one has kind of a green shift to it. So this is that quad right there. This is a beautiful quad. The quality is really nice. It is a really good ColourPop formula. So that one I have in a project, I think for five uses. I have not hit that goal yet, but I have used it and I think it is beautiful. It does work really well with my pen, that palette with the turquoises and blues in there. So I've been pairing them together. Another palette that I've been working on is my Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. This is for my project Level Up. I have not hit my goal yet, so I will show you what the palette looks like. This is it right here. You can tell I'm definitely using it. It has two greens, a couple of pinks in here. So this is what all five of them look like. You can see the three shimmers up top and then the two mattes down here. So I am focusing in on these two shades right here to try to hit panning because this is my level two for project level up. And I'm really enjoying working on this palette. The next palette is the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. This is the pastel one. This is what it looks like right here. I have this in a project. I think my goal is to use it five times. And believe it or not, I'm mostly reaching for the mattes in this palette. I've reached for this one, this one. I think I've used this green one one time. Let's see, what else have I reached for? I've also dipped into this blue one right here and then this matte one right here. I really have not played with any of these shimmers and it's not that I don't like the shimmers that are in this palette because I think they're beautiful. So this one right here is called Sunset Boulevard. I'm hoping you can see that. Beautiful color. The, it's not that I don't 
want to wear these. It's just that I'm trying to use my shimmers in my Pan That palette every chance I get. This one is called City of Angels. Look at that stunning color. So this one is beautiful. Like I said, I'm focusing in on the mattes. Maybe I should try to use some of these shimmers as well. This one is called Rush Hour. It is a beautiful silver. Okay, that is gorgeous. I definitely need to reach for more of these shimmer shades in this palette after swatching a few of them, but I'm still working on this one in a project, and of course, I love the BH Cosmetics formula. Speaking of BH, I do have another one of their palettes. This is the Passion in Paris palette. This is the bluish one. There are lots of other colors, neutrals, reds, everything. Hopefully you can see some of the shades that I've been working on in here. You can see little dips forming. This one is gorgeous. It is everything that people have hyped it up to be. I have really enjoyed wearing these blue ones. I will give you a swatch of these two right here. They are stunning. I have no idea how to pronounce some of these names, so I won't even try. So this one is kind of the bluish purple shimmer. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. This one is a darker blue. It's Versailles. I feel comfortable saying that one. <laughs> and then the red shimmer, Moulin Rouge. Let's see right here. Look at that. That is one of my favorite colors right there. So another stunning palette from BH Cosmetics. These little palettes, I don't know how much they sell for, $14 to $17. They are worth every penny. These are incredible. The next palette I want to talk about is from Glamlight. This is a collab with Scooby-Doo. It's the Rut Row Raggy palette. I did talk about the Creeps and Crawls palette, the other Scooby-Doo one, in the last update. So if you want to see that, be sure to check it out. But this is what this one looks like. You've got some blues and purples and then a ton of greens in here. I have this one in a project for No Pan Left Behind. I have used these six right here. I haven't touched these right here. I believe it is in my Happy Hour Project pan. This formula is incredible. Glam Light knows how to do their shimmers, and I love how dark this palette goes as well. So this one does not have shade names. It just, they're just numbered. So this is uh, number one and number two. Look at the color change in those. And then this super deep green, shade number five. Look at that. Can you tell I love shimmers? <laughs> that is beautiful. So I have not worn all of these shades. I'll go ahead and swatch the other two shimmers as well. Let's see, trying to find a clean finger here. So there's one and there's the other. Gorgeous shimmers in this palette. And then of course the mattes I do really enjoy. I love having really dark mattes to reach for. And so I have thoroughly enjoyed using this eyeshadow palette. This is another stunning one from Glam Light. The final palette that I've reached for is a collab between Cleona and Emily Violet Marie. This is the Dragon Fruit palette. This entire palette is shimmers, but it is stunning. I did have the goal to use this No Pan Left Behind. I believe it was in the Women Who Rock Project pan. I wore every one of these and these are gorgeous. I did swatch several of them in that video, but I'll go ahead and swatch a few more. This one right here in the middle is called Sweetened, that beautiful raspberry shade. Just gorgeous. I'm gonna say that for every single one of these eyeshadows. This one is called Strawberry Pear, kind of a orangey pink. Let's see what else. Prickly is a beautiful purple so pretty. <laughs> and then Infusion is kind of a lavender shade right here. We'll do the greens. This one is called Dragonfly. And then this one, I don't know how to pronounce it, Catacea, something like that, is the other green. It's kind of a lime green. Just gorgeous, gorgeous shades. So I have thoroughly had fun playing with tons of different shimmer shades over this past month and some beautiful mattes as well. So those are the seven palettes that I've used that are outside of my Pan That palette and the eyeshadows that are on my Pan Those eyeshadows. So now it is time for me to narrow this down and choose a peak and a pit. I think my peak is honestly gonna be the Glam Light and Scooby-Doo palette. I love the color story of this. I do like having light colors as well as super dark shadows to blend it out with and then stunning shimmers to use on my lids. So I think I'm gonna put this one down as my peak for the month and my pit. Honestly, it's gonna have to be my Natasha Denona palette. Well, I think this is beautiful, I feel a little bit stuck when I look at this palette. I think if I were to pull in the 
15 pan retro palette and kind of pair these two together, then it would work a lot better. But I think I've just been struggling a little bit trying to get these eyeshadows to work with other things that I'm panning, which isn't necessarily this eyeshadow palette's fault. <laughs> it's just the one out of all of these seven, this is the one that I would least likely reach for to use. So that's why I'm gonna put this one as my pit. So those are all the eyeshadows I have to show you. If you would like to do this, please feel free to join in. I think each one of us is doing it a little bit differently. You can set goals in this project if you want to, but you do not have to. This is just open for you to use your eyeshadows in any way that works for you and try to reach for palettes that aren't necessarily in pan those eyeshadows or things like that. You can just reach for whatever palettes you are in the mood to wear and then talk about them at the next update. All of the palettes that I showed you today have been in other projects. I originally wanted to do this project to reach for eyeshadows that are in my drawers that are not in projects and I haven't done this for the month of February. So I need to do that for the month of March. I want to challenge myself to reach for two palettes that are not in projects and use them during the month so that when I update you at the beginning of April, I can show you what those two palettes are and talk about what I thought of them. And that way I can get some use on eyeshadows that aren't in a project for once. So that is my entire update. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.